Matson with the Way Matson Report. This Sunday roundup, uh, our second week, uh, coming to you with our new two hour expanded program. Uh, we will, uh, be talking, uh, tonight about, uh, the continued, um, historic changes we're seeing take place in the Middle East and North Africa. And we'll have two guests on who have knowledge of, um, what's happening in that part of the world. Um, my first guest tonight in the first hour will be Mike Springman, who was actually the vice consul at the U.S. Uh, consulate in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia in the late 80s. And uh, he has a lot of information, uh, not only about the Saudi government and its close relationship with the United States, but also uh, some strange happenings at the consulate in the uh, late 1980s, which he brought attention to, which may have led to something we now call 9-11. Uh, so we'll have Mike joining us uh, here uh, after our first break. Uh, the toll-free number, if you'd like to call into the program tonight, is 800-313-9443. That's 800-313-9443. Uh, and as I was uh, mentioning... Uh, tonight, I, we'll be talking about um, um, what's happening in North Africa and the Middle East. And in our uh, second hour, I'll have uh, on Don DeBar, who is a journalist, a uh, radio broadcaster in New York City, who uh, went uh, with me on a trip to Libya in October of 2009. And we'll uh, be talking about our reflections from that particular trip where we actually were in Muammar Gaddafi's tent in Tripoli at one point in time, and um, uh, we'll be talking about uh, uh, what we saw then and how that relates to what is happening in Libya now. Apparently, we're seeing what could be called uh, a civil war uh, for all purposes. Uh, uh, it seems like uh, Gaddafi still has uh, some support, whether that's foreign mercenaries, uh, members of his particular tribe that are uh, sticking with him, uh, or even uh, some um, uh, Western oil companies that have a vested interest maybe in keeping Gaddafi around. We'll talk about all those types of uh, issues. Um, definitely Gaddafi's been around for 42 years, and he's uh, probably the, other than the Saudis, he's going to be the toughest uh, nut to crack uh, with these uh, oligarchs uh, that have maintained their presence and their power in the uh, Arab uh, Middle East and Arab North Africa for all these many years. Uh, so we'll be uh, uh, talking about uh, North Africa, the Middle East, and uh, anything else that comes to our mind uh, uh, as we're uh, talking to our two guests this evening. And um, But I, I can't stress enough that what we're seeing take place is uh, not just political, but also economic, and we're seeing just uh, anger and angst uh, sweeping not only North Africa and the Middle East, but uh, continued anger in Europe over the austerity measures uh, that are being imposed on uh, the people to bail out the bankers in Greece and in Ireland, uh, a major election in Ireland, the one of the long, uh, long uh, in power parties uh, suffered its worst electoral defeat ever this past week, and it looks like maybe the new Irish government will just tear up uh, those um, those agreements they made with the uh, international bankers. And isn't it funny? The Queen of uh, Queen of England has announced that she's going to make her first state visit to Ireland. Uh, so we'll be back uh, with uh, more tonight. Uh, our guests uh, right after this break. This is Wayne Madsen from Washington. <laughs> <laughs> 